Well, this is interesting. Israel is planning to give a special award to President Obama. When the president visits Israel next month, he'll get the award. He'll become the first sitting U.S. president to receive Israel's Presidential Medal of Distinction. It is particularly curious since he snubbed Prime Minister Netanyahu last fall when he was in the United States. And President Obama did not visit the, the ally during his first term as our president. President Obama's relationship also with Israel has been noted as being chilly. So what is going on here? Former Congressman Alan West joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you doing, Greta? Very well. Obviously, Israel can decide who it wants to give a particular award to, but I'm curious uh, your thoughts on President Obama getting this award. Well, I do find it somewhat interesting when, as you just talked about, this is the first time that President Obama has gone to visit Israel. In his first term, he uh, bypassed Israel. He went to Cairo, Egypt. He went to Istanbul, and he also went to Saudi Arabia. And most importantly, when you look at the neighborhood now that Israel is surrounded by, we have seen the uh, United States government, the Obama administration, support a Muslim Brotherhood coming to power in uh, Egypt, as well as now we're going to provide them modern F-16s, as well as M-1 tanks. We see the nominee for Secretary of Defense, Chuck Hagel, Senator Hagel, who has made some very questionable uh, comments related to Israel. As well, you see the CIA nominee, Mr. John Brennan, has referred to Israel's capital, Jerusalem, as Al-Quds, which is what the radical uh, Islamists refer to it as. So when you think about the uh, foreign policy and you think about the environment in which Israel finds itself, Hezbollah and Hamas are stronger, the chaos in Syria, the expansion of the regional hegemonic dominance of Iran, that causes you a lot of concern. But of course, this is coming from President Shimon Peres and not from Prime Minister Netanyahu. Well, what, what's sort of interesting, I was looking a little deeper into this award. It's a new award, so a year old. And uh, President Obama gave uh, President Shimon Perez an award when he was here a year ago. But here's what the honor recognizes. Unique and significant contribution to strengthening the state of Israel and security of its citizens. So I guess the question would be, if you're challenging, is specifically what is the unique and significant contribution that President Obama made to Israel's secure, the security of its citizens? Well, I would be uh, the first to challenge that. When the president uh, won back in 2009 after his inauguration, the first person that he called was Mahmoud Abbas. The first uh, interview that he did was with Al Arabiya. And we know the infamous uh, remarks where he talked about going to the pre-1967 borders, which really incensed a lot of people in Israel. So uh, I don't know if there are really specific contributions. A lot of people will point to the Iron Dome system, which has been very successful. But if that be the case, then every member of Congress that voted for the funding to support the Iron Dome system should also receive this medal. Well, the Iron Dome sh certainly has been uh, very important to Israel, especially in, in, a, in the recent uh, problems last yeah. November, last fall. But, I, but I'm curious, um, if you think that, uh, you say you would challenge it, uh, whether or not he, you know, he has done anything significant, uh, uh, a unique and significant contribution in strengthening the state of Israel. I'm curious, why do you think Israel is giving him this award, this, this organization? Is it because they truly believe that he's the one, that he deserves it? Or do you think that there is another reason it's just to sort of keep a cozy relationship with our country? Well, I don't know if this is a case of Stockholm Syndrome where the victim tries to appease the captor and uh, get them to love them. Uh, but I can tell you this, uh, if you're going to provide a reward to someone that has really not been that supportive of our best ally in the Middle East, that is rather Pavlovian. So you can expect to have more arrogance uh, coming from the president. And we do recall how he treated Prime Minister Netanyahu. So I don't know if this is a political ploy to try to gain favor with the president in these final years. But, you know, hopefully this is not a case of uh, what we call down in South Florida Jewish guilt. Well, I'm, I'm so curious. I'm sort of thinking this isn't the president's. I mean, if the president hasn't done anything unique and significant for the contribution for the security of Israel, maybe if uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu doesn't buy it as well. I mean, it's not the president's fault that uh, responsibility that someone wants to uh, give him a war. In fact, he needs to be gracious and accept the award. Would you not agree with that? I will agree with he should be gracious and accept the reward, but I think once again, we continue to see all of these uh, awards and honors heaped on the president. We have to ask, what really has the president done? We saw the Nobel Peace Prize being given to him uh, real early in his presidency because of what people believed he could do. 
But right now we have the promulgation of weaponry all over the Middle East, and that's a threat to Israel because of the destabilized situation we see in the Maghreb, especially coming out of Libya, as well as in Syria. And of course, we know that Iran is promulgating weapons uh, all over the Middle East. We have a president that did not stand up and condemn the Goldstone Report. We have a president that did not stand with Israel with the Mavi Marara uh, incident where they boarded the, the, the blockade, the ships that were trying to run the blockade. So there are some things where the president could have been a stronger ally and shown stronger support, but I believe that he has shown some weakness in that bond. All right, let me just add one last word. I'm going to take the last one on this. He also, you mentioned the Nobel Peace Prize that he got very early on in his administration. He didn't apply for that or ask for it. That was something that the committee decided to award him. Um, uh, but, I mean, he's not, he's, not, he's not going out and applying for these awards. He's getting these awards, um, which is, I think... Yeah, well, I, I, I think that uh, there's a little bit of, you know, dignity to just say, you know, thank you very much, but I need to prove myself first and foremost. Congressman, thank you. Always nice to see you, sir. Always a pleasure, Greta. You take care. Okay, question for the viewers. Do you agree with Congressman West? What do you think about President Obama getting Israel's Presidential Medal of Distinction? Go to GretaWire.com. Tell us whether you agree with the congressman or not.